I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't listen to him! I'm withdrawing my power. No, you're not! Yes, I am! No, you're not! <laughs> hey, everybody, Mr. Herring here. CSF celebrated Pi Day recently. That was March... 14th 314 Pi Day by helping to raise money in a competition where CSF students paired themselves with teachers. Whoever could raise more money, the student or student group versus the teacher, whoever raised more money uh, would avoid getting a pie thrown in their face. So the results are in and I would tell you who won and who lost but I think the losers will be evident when we look at the film. Enjoy. Two, one. Good morning, Fallbrook. My name is Adriana, and I just wanted to hop on here real quick to let you guys know that I beat Mr. Murphy in the CSF Pi Day fundraiser. Mr. Murphy, I really thought you would be a challenge to compete against, but after having raised just over $100 more than you, I really think a pie to the face is well over deserved. Hello, my name is Mr. Murphy and today is Pie Day. I raised less money than Adriana Madrigal in the CSF Pie Day fundraiser. Enjoy. Hey, this is Mrs. Pinnell here. I challenged Valeria and Jackie um, in a pie contest on Pie Day, March 14th. Uh, for CSF as a fundraiser and I won. So pie in Jackie and Valeria's faces. Hey guys, for CSF pie day we challenged Miss Pinnell. And unfortunately we lost, so here we are and we're just gonna get pied. Okay, so you're pied. This is us getting pied. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, it's Miss Foray. I am the CSF advisor. And I just wanted to thank all our participants in um, the Pi Day fundraiser. I'd also really like to thank all of you that donated. Half of our proceeds from this fundraiser will be going toward the free wheelchair mission. Um, the free wheelchair mission is a noble cause that uh, donates free wheelchairs to people in need. Um, I've actually had the privilege of being a part of this. I got to go to Peru and help deliver and donate um, wheelchairs to people in need. So just thank you again so much to everyone that participated and donated. Have a great weekend. Hi, 
everyone, my name is Ms. Cabrera. I'm a math teacher here at Fallbrook High, and I'm working with some awesome people at Cal State Fullerton and UC Irvine to bring what's called the Math CEO Project to you. It's a really amazing project. Check out this poster that we made. So there are four different kinds of topics and projects that you can work on with some awesome people. We got undergraduates, we got other high school students, we got some professors and other professionals working with us um, so that we can design a project just for fun and then we can present like what we found and then this is a really awesome opportunity and something that you can put on your resumes for college that you work with a team to create a project um, and work with people from outside Fallbrook High and professionals. Okay, so let me talk about the different types of projects first. Okay, I'll move my little head. The first topic is investing. It's with Professor Jeff Ludwig. He's gonna talk about how you can find out different ways um, to identify a, a company's worth and future earnings. So which company is gonna be the next Facebook or next Amazon? Um, next up, we got a project with my little head in there. And a project with Professor Luke Smith. He actually was my professor in college, fun fact. And he will be talking about securing data. So how does encryption work? How do we have all these passwords and manage to protect privacy and all of that stuff? Um, what does encryption look like? How does math come into play with it? After that, another kind of project that you can join is with um, these two awesome physicists, Max Vieg and Jason Barretts. Jason's going to talk about it in a second, but basically you guys are going to create this amazing Rube Goldberg machine. He's going to break down what Rube Goldbergs are. Hello everybody, um, my name is Jason Barretts. I'm a second year physics grad student at UCI, um, UC Irvine. Um, and uh, I'm involved with Math CEO, and um, along with uh, a fellow grad student, uh, Max Feig, we're going to be um, leading this um, Math CEO project uh, for the high schoolers um, about um, designing uh, and building your own uh, Rube Goldberg machines. Finally, with Sha Sun, you would be looking at genes and exploring what DNA and RNA is all about. There's some fun facts here. Do you know that humans share 85% of their functioning DNA with mice? And onions have five times as much DNA as humans. Fun fact for you. Learn about DNA, RNA is the basic codes of life and compare the genes of various life forms. Okay, those are all the projects. You can uh, sign up by hitting this QR code up here with your phone. Um, also, if you have access to this poster, you can click on this hyperlink. We got six meetings. One is starting actually this week, March 11th, and then our following meetings with all of the teams are going to be April 15th, the 22nd, the 29th, May 6th, and May 15th. Okay, I really hope you guys join. It's a really fun space, fun project, an awesome opportunity for you guys and your college applications. So thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful day. My name is James and I don't know if you know this, but one of our wellness centers has a series of phone apps they recommend to focus on wellness. For more on one of these, here is your health report. MindShift CBT is an app designed by a group called Anxiety Canada. CBT is an acronym that stands for Cognitive Brain Training. MindShift uses scientific practices of CBT to help you train yourself to relax, as well as you develop more effective ways of thinking. MindShift gives you tools to help you control your anxiety. Once you sign up, you will find free sources of battle, social anxiety, protectivism, and panic. Think MindShift is an app you like to learn more about? Go to our wellness center.
juniors. I'm running for sophomore secretary. You should vote for me because I had a year of experience and I know what I'm doing. So go out there and vote for me. Hello, my name is Cassandra Vero and I am running for ASB sophomore class president. I am a very hardworking student and a quick thinker. I accept everyone for who they are and I am eager to be a part of ASB. I have I am a straight A student, so I know what it takes to get things done when it needs to be done. For these reasons, I believe I am a great candidate for this position. A fun fact about me is that I just started pole vaulting here at Fallbrook High on the track and field team, and I'm going out for basketball as well. Thank you for listening, and be sure to vote for me for your sophomore class president. Good morning, Fallbrook High students. My name is Jordan O'Farrell, and I'm running for sophomore ASB president. Although this year has been difficult and I have not been able to meet or socialize with a lot of you, I want to make the next school year the best it can be whether we're in person or not. I think I'd be good for this position because I'm currently a member in ASB as well as Student Senate and I continue to be a leader to myself and others every day. I'm also a hardworking, caring student who values your opinions and views. Because of these reasons, I hope you'll consider to vote for me to be your next sophomore ASB president. Have a good day. Hello, I'm Zoe Vehar, and I'm running for your junior class president. I think I could really make a difference on our school. I'm qualified for this because I've done multiple leadership activities. I was vice president and avid for my eighth grade year. I also completed most of my community service in middle school from volunteering to different assemblies for the students and parents for different clubs. I also have been an avid for four years. I'm in dual immersion, so I speak two languages. I play field hockey and lacrosse. I've been in distinguished honor roll so far this year. Therefore, I know I can manage my responsibilities as your junior class president. And also, I was a Girl Scout, which gave me a lot of leadership activities. And I do know a lot about leadership and how I could help our school. So therefore, vote for me, Zoe Vehar for your junior class president. Hi, I'm Carla Cadenas, and I am running for senior class president for the upcoming school year. For starters, I've been in the ASB class since my freshman year, and I've always enjoyed it. That being said, I am well qualified for this position. What makes me a good leader is my drive and my ability to be attentive to my peers and their opinions. Thank you, and don't forget to vote. Hi Warriors, my name is Emily Emery and I'm running for the position of Athletic Commissioner for the school year of 2021 and 2022. I'm qualified for this position because one, it's a no-brainer. I have a passion for sports. Secondly, I'm very organized. I have great communication skills. I'm very supportive and I have your best interests at heart. Fun fact about me is that despite from being a cheerleader here at Fallbrook High School, during my free time, I ride mountain bikes for fun. The reason why I'm running for this position is because not only am I going to be a senior, but I also want to be involved in this upcoming school year and make it the best one yet since most of us athletes didn't get a season this year. If you vote for me as your athletic commissioner, I promise to give you athletes the best year yet. Again, my name is Emily Emery, and I'm running for your athletic commissioner for the school year of 2021 and 2022. Thank you. Hi, my name is Janelle Casada, and I'm running to be PEP commissioner. I am part of class of 2022, and to tell you a little bit about myself, I've been in ASB since freshman year. I'm also on the Fallbrook High cheer team. I love school spirit. One of my favorite school activities slash events at Fallbrook High are the pep rallies. I love all the school spirit and I love when everyone gets brought together to have fun. I hope to be next year's pep commissioner because I want to spread more school spirit and I want everyone to have a good time. Vote Janelle Quesada for pep commissioner. Hello, my name is Frida DeLone and I am currently a sophomore here at Fallbrook High School. I am running for your activities commissioner. As your activities commissioner, I will take steps to encourage every single student to get involved with all activities we do. So please help me make our 2021-2022 school year a one to remember. Thank you. 
Hi everybody, my name is Alina. I'm going into 11th grade. I'm running for ASB Public Relations and Publicity Commissioner. The reasons why I think I'm best candidate for this is because I am reliable, outgoing, organized, and always welcoming new friends. The second reason is because I'm a good team player, creative, honest, and motivated to finish what I start. The last reason is because I want to be more involved in my high school year and I want to expand my social skills with my peers. Thank you! Hey Fall Brick Warriors, my name is Damon Gallegos and I'm currently running to be your board representative and I am going to be a senior next year. Some of the programs I'm involved in at school include the Fall Brick FFA, the Tomahawk newspaper, the Madrigals, and the academic team. Now, I'm running for this position because I'm interested in seeing how our school can influence the board because in the FFA, I'm very used to working with a team as well as talking in debate to be able to persuade people to understand some of the ways that I am thinking. And I really hope you'll all vote me, Damon Gallegos, to be your school board representative. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hello, my name is Maylen De Leon. I am a junior here at Fallbrook High School and I am running for next year's vice president. Uh, through hard work and dedication, I will help improve students' uh, high school experiences by promoting clubs where people feel accepted and loved. I aim to create successful events for you to remember for years to come. I aim to advocate for groups that are not as represented here at Fallbrook High School. I think listening to all students' voices and unique perspectives helps us solve pressing problems and makes high school 100% better. I will put my all into this job and do the best that I possibly can. I will always have your best interests in mind. Uh, please vote for me as your ASB uh, Vice President because you can count on me like one, two, three. Thank you for your support. Hi, my name is Emily Schmier and I'm running to be your ASB President. Next year will be my sixth year in an ASB class and through those six years I have learned so much. But the biggest concept I've learned is that everyone should have a voice. I feel like in the hardest year of our lives, our thoughts and voices were not represented. Everyone should be heard. Your opinion matters, no matter your gender, race, religious background, or political view. I also want to make this next unpredictable year fun. No matter what restrictions we face, I am determined to turn them into positives. Virtual or not, everyone in high school deserves to have their proms, pep rallies, and sports, and I will promise to speak for all of us all year long. So please elect me to be your ASB president for the 2021-2022 school year. You won't regret it. Thank you. Hi, Warriors. It's time to cast your vote for the ASB class of 2021 through 2022. Please check your school email for the official ballot. Voting closes Sunday at 3 p.m. Best of luck to all our outstanding candidates. Happy voting.